Welcome to the Flix Storyboard Pro tutorial. The first thing we're going to go through is how to get your sequence from Storyboard Pro into Flix. Now, typically you would only send a sequence to Flix once you've done significant work on it, rather than every time you make small tweaks throughout the day. So here you can see I have my boards in Storyboard Pro. So the first thing I wanna do is make sure the project is saved somewhere that Flix has access to. So I want to make sure it is saved as a .sboard file because those are the files that Flix is expecting to read from Storyboard Pro. Now in Flix, go to the sequence level and if you have Storyboard Pro installed and configured, this button will be active. If the button is disabled, it's because Flix doesn't know that you have Storyboard Pro installed on your machine somewhere. So go into Preferences, Third Party Apps, Storyboard Pro, and then point Flix to the Storyboard Pro application file. Okay, so click on this button to bring up the Storyboard Pro import page. Here is where you browse to your previously saved S-Board file. You can add a comment and click import. Now just give it some time to import all those individual panels from Storyboard Pro and upload them to your Flix server. You can watch the progress down here in the bottom right so you have some idea of how long it's got to go, depending of course on how many files are in your project. What's happening in the background here is Storyboard Pro is exporting every panel as a PSD file. Flix is taking those files and uploading them to the Flix server, where they get rendered as panels and arranged into a sequence revision based on the timing of your Storyboard Pro sequence. This exporting process from Storyboard Pro always takes time because it doesn't track changes to your assets like how Flix does. It just exports everything every time. So that's why it's better to just import your Storyboard Pro sequence to Flix at the end of the day instead of each time you make a small change. That said, the upload and creation processes from Flix are faster for subsequent imports because Flix does track those small changes and, and only uploads and renders new assets or changes from Storyboard Pro. All right, once the import is finished, Flix has created a new sequence revision, which is recreated exactly as it was in Storyboard Pro, retaining the timing and dialogue, as well as my scenes, which are delimited by markers here in Flix. Each panel was exported by Storyboard Pro as a PSD file, which is good to know in case, for example, your story department needs to make revisions in Photoshop on boards that came from Storyboard Pro. These PSDs retain all that layer information that you would need. If I click on Properties on these panels, I can also see the origin is Storyboard Pro. Okay, that takes care of the basic import. Let's now move on to importing and updating a sequence. So let's make a small change to one of these panels that's obvious, change some dialogue as well, and save my project. Now back in Flix, I need to import my updated Storyboard Pro project. And this time the import will be a lot faster. You'll see that only the panels that were affected since the last import get versioned up in Flix. The panels that I didn't do anything to relink to their original versions, which is why this import was so much quicker. Here is the new dialog, and I can check the previous iterations of dialog here using the dialog history tool. And if I select a different version of the dialog, Flix will create a new sequence revision. When it comes to shots that have camera moves on them, these panels are brought into Flix as stills by default. But let's say the production wants those camera moves to appear in Flix exactly as they were in Storyboard Pro. Click on Preferences, Third Party Apps, Storyboard Pro, and then under the Import option, change this from Hold First Frame to Render All Frames. One thing to be aware of is that this will increase the import time. Render All Frames is a much longer process than Hold First Frame, especially with a long sequence or one with a lot of camera moves. It's important to know that this setting only affects how those shots are represented in Flix. It doesn't change the actual files. So if you had a camera move on a shot in Storyboard Pro, that camera move information is retained, regardless of what this is set to. Let's see how that looks. I'm going to re-import my S-Board file now, and you'll see in the new sequence revision that Flix creates, my panels that had camera moves are now brought in as animated panels. If I play back in Flix, those camera moves are all recreated. Let's go further into making revisions and working in Storyboard Pro. I'm going to add a new panel and save my project. Again, same process as before. Import the newly saved S-Board file 
And as expected, the panels are left untouched, just relink to their originals, but Flix brings in the new panel in its correct order, and if I'd updated any other panels, Flix would create new versions of them. Let's say this sequence has undergone some timing changes, and we want to update our Storyboard Pro sequence with those new timings. First, I need to go into Flix Preferences and make sure my default sketching app is set to Storyboard Pro. That way, when I double click on a panel, it triggers an export to Storyboard Pro, which creates an XML file that I will use to reconform my sequence. You can just copy the link to the XML with this icon. Open up Storyboard Pro, go to File, Conformation, Import Animatic Project. Here, I can paste in that link I copied, update the audio and captions based on the information from Flix, or leave them as they currently are in my Storyboard Pro project. Then click Import and my sequence updates with the new timings. Again, panels that were untouched simply relink to their originals. Let's say changes have come back from editorial. It's the same fundamental process. If you made changes in Premiere to a shot that contains a camera move, that keyframe data is retained and you'll see it reflected in Storyboard Pro when you reconform the project. If your editorial workflow is Avid based, the original panel with the original camera move that you applied in Storyboard Pro is relinked in the conform. That concludes this tutorial on Flix and Storyboard Pro. For further information and tutorials, check out learn.foundry.com/flix or the dedicated Flix YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.